wouldn't apply to potatoes, pie face. Classmates, I hope you'll all be voting for me to be this year's class prefect. <laughs> we wouldn't vote for you if you were the only kid standing. <laughs> and you are the only kid standing. No one else wants that boring job. Boring? I think not. Helping teachers clean school rules is what I was born to do. Yeah, tell him, Walter. Fit for Walter! Fit for Walter! Ah, Sausage and Mash Monday! Oh, but you're banned, Nasha. Unless. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. One bite for me. Ow. And one for you. You need a haircut, Dennis. School rules say hair should be no more than ten centimetres long. Huzzah! <gasps> Lucky me! Stop! in 30 seconds, Dennis. That's a record even for you. Hey, No hair over 10 centimetres, no pets in school. What's the third one? No sausages flung into the teacher's mouths between 1 and 2 on a Monday afternoon. How am I supposed to know that? Huh, it's in the rule book. Learn them all tonight, or it's detention every day until you do. Brilliant! I bet there's rules in here that I haven't even dreamed of breaking. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Rule 409, no fat powder in the dinner hall. Rule 410, no skydiving in assembly. <laughs> you sing just like Walter. <laughs> Listen to this. Rule 411, the class prefect gets to bring a pet to school. It's a really old rule, mate, so Lord Beanoworth's son could bring his tiger to class. <laughs> has it done the homework? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a sec. If you were prefect, you could bring your pet to school. Miss, miss, miss yeah, but then I'd have to be the teacher's pet. <laughs> anyway, I've got a much better idea. Time for Plan D and G. Voting is today, so if nobody else wants to be class prefect... Prepare to grovel, my subjects. Uh, um, I mean, uh, I graciously accept. Hang on, there's someone else who wants to stand for class prefect. You? I'd rather eat a cactus. Phew, Dennis can't stand as class prefect. The rules say prefects can't have had more than five detentions. He's had 500. Which is why our candidate is... Paul! A potato? No, 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 Dennis, that is a pet. No pets in school. Well, you said yesterday that rule didn't apply to Paul. Then it's time to change the rules. But, Headmaster, the rule is nonsense. He's a potato, a spud. A chip. <gasps> There's nothing in the school rule book that says potatoes can't stand for class prefect. Enough, all of you. Clearly, we need to change the rules to disallow vegetables. Thank you, Headmaster. A triumph for common sense. But the rules say school rules can only be changed by a majority vote at a school meeting on the third Tuesday after a full moon, provided there's a J in the month. What a stupid system! Can we change it? Well, yes, but only by a majority vote on the third Tuesday... So what you're saying is there's nothing to stop Paul standing for class prefect? Oh, it seems not. Don't worry, miss. I'm fairly confident I can beat a root vegetable. Very well. May the best man... Or potato. Or potato win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm efficient, respectable, and a stickler for rules. What more could you want? How about a bit of fun? Let's put an end to Walter's waffle by voting for Paul! <laughs> no bikes in school, and any candidate who breaks school rules is immediately disqualified. Ha! The potato's out!
I win. Aha! But Paul didn't break any rules. He's over there. Hello. Detention, both of you. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. Detention's a small price to pay. When Paul wins, he's bringing a pet to school. And that's gonna be you. Nasha! Nasha! Aha! You're trying to ruin my campaign so you can bring your stupid dog to school. Not at all, Walter. It's just that Paul's clearly the better candidate. <laughs> Nonsense. What on earth is a potato good for? <laughs> Town School. I'm asked to name one thing a potato is good for, and I give you chips for your fish, mash for your sausages, jackets for your cheese and beans. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm clearly a better candidate. For one thing, I'm smarter than a potato. <laughs> oh, really? What, six times, five times, four times, three times, two times, one times, zero? Oh, oh, oh carry the one. Oh, oh. Psh, rubbish. But Paul got it right. What? Paul said nothing. And nothing is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's a better athlete than you two. Oh, pff, what nonsense. I bet you he can reach the end of the playground before you can. You'll run on three. Three! <laughs> I'd like to see a potato get there before me. Potato three, Walter nil. I've had enough of this. I'm turning you into mash. <laughs> <laughs> Totally, utterly ludicrous! It's a potato! A potato! Do you want all the other classes to laugh at us? Thankfully, sanity prevails! That prefect badge is mine! Psst. Looks like we'll have to rely on our top secret plan after all! Yeah. Something. Let me see. See what? You mean these plans? I yeah. wouldn't do that if I were you, Walter. You'd need the agility of a cat to get up there. And you've got the agility of an elephant. Hmm. The agility of a cat, eh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I knew he'd fall for it. <laughs> Grab those plans. Walter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm shocked. These are plans for cheating to win the election. Oh, Walter. Oh. These are not mine! But I caught you red-handed! Literally! And, miss, isn't bringing your pet into school against the rules? And aren't rule breakers disqualified, miss? Hmm. Walter, maybe you're not a perfect prefect after all. What? No! <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like there's only one candidate left, miss. We have a clear winner. Your new class prefect is Paul the Potato. Oh. Yeah, give it up for Prefect Paul! Woo! <laughs> you know this is only till they get the rules changed. Yeah, but it'll be fun while it lasts. Speaking of which... Everyone say hello to the class prefect's pet. Oh, you horrible hound. <laughs> Don't be a bad loser, Walter. You didn't stand a chance against Team Menace. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Mash, 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 mash. 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 M
Don't tell, old chap. Possibly a tad late. He doesn't like double glazing. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, salesman. Miss, miss. Just be thankful you're not wearing spotty underpants. Miss, 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 miss. Ah. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. You can buy them red and black striped jumpers in any high street. Wait, eh? Colonel? What's wrong? There's a bar in the two words. First word, spotty. Second word, <laughs> underpants. <laughs> well, at least her dad's not back yet. <laughs> Dennis! What on earth? And now we have to get the whole house double glazed just to buy off that salesman. You can't deny it, Dennis. That dog is getting worse. Rubbish. He's becoming a real problem. Oh. Nah. Boredom, that's what it is. Oh. You don't even know this was Nasha. Could have been rats, mice. He's bored, Dennis. He's got no one to play with while you're at school. <laughs> Something has to be done. <gasps> Dad, you're a genius. Curly, Dad says I have to get a new pet to keep Nasha company. <laughs> eh, what? I didn't say that. Meet you at the pet shop in ten. Ha <laughs> 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 Okay, we're done here. The Nasha friendly pet pal does not exist. It's a myth, a fairy tale. A <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Seriously, Nasha, this is the one. There's just something about him. <laughs> Say hello to the Abyssinian Wirefin Piranha. <laughs> Oh, Nash proof glass with titanium lid and integral oxygen supply. Nice. What does genius wear, boys? A striped jumper, jumper Dennis. <laughs> Ah, oh, there you are, lads. Status report 1600 hours. Operation Pet Pal, a complete success. Zero casualties, minimal collateral damage. Oops, bagged and tagged. Two, in fact. Um, great. Thanks, Colonel. Could be time for rations then, eh? What do piranhas like to eat? So, basically anything, yeah? Pretty much. Let's see. The Abyssinian wirefin piranha is almost completely omnivorous. However, <clears throat> under no circumstances whatsoever should this fish ever be fed a... Uh, what? <coughs> pies. As they have been known to cause a... Uh, what? Extreme flatulence. <laughs> Mother, I may have to insist on fewer sprouts at dinner tonight. <laughs> what on earth? Okay, Walter, stay very calm. There's no easy way to say this, but there's a hungry flesh-eating fish in your bath. Actually, that was pretty easy. Respect, Curly. Cheers, Dennis. I try. Are you all insane? Get out at once before I call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
go. No harm done, eh? <laughs> Once again, Walter, I am so sorry about this. Well, I do sincerely appreciate your cooperation in this matter. And we sincerely appreciate you not suing us without mercy till we end up homeless, destitute and scavenging for scraps in dustbins. Not at all. Maybe they can have a moment to say goodbye, though, eh? Don't be absurd. Disgusting thing. Deserves everything it gets. Chop, chop. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hey, are we smooth or what? And this year's award for outstanding performance in a fish-themed rescue caper goes to... Nasha! <laughs> nash, Nash! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> well, I'm sure I oh, can't hurt. Oh, at least you can't escape this time. Long as nobody ever finds out we've still got the piranha, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, Dennis. just came over to, uh, say sorry. Yep, that's it. Right. Sorry, Walter. Sorry, Walter. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Um, Pieface, he just wants to give you a really sorry hug. Yeah. Get out before I call the police. <laughs> Pardon me. Bye, Pie. Oh, 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 oh that's not oh. <laughs> You are all disgusting. I need to use the lavatory. You will all be gone by the time I come out, or else. <sighs> OK, where'd the fish go? What's up there, Curly? Uh, that would be the lavatory. <sighs> of course it would. <laughs> There's no toilet paper! <laughs> <laughs> to buy toilet paper, and if you are still here when I get back, you will taste my wrath. Oh, nice. I like a bit of soup. Wrath, not broth. <laughs> OK, let's go get that fish. <gasps> OK, we all clear on the plan. Um, catch the fish? I didn't say it was a fancy plan. him every day. Nash, nash! <laughs> nash! So you won't get into trouble gnashing stuff when I'm at school. I know you've still got that fish. Sorry, Walter. Don't know what you're talking about. I know it, and I'm going to prove it. You see if I don't, and what I'm... Oh! Great save 
by the Nashmeister! Yes? Oops. Smash, smash. Oh, smashing kick, Dennis. <laughs> I would describe that as a penalty kick, as the window's going to cost you... A whole year's pocket money. <laughs> what? No way. You know, Dennis, soccer takes sportsmanship, skill, control. Oh, give me back my ball, Walter. All of which I have. It's not about running around with a rubbish goalie like him. <laughs> rubbish? He's the best goalie there is. You'd never get one past Nasha. Oh, please. I could win against you in that mangy mutt any time, Dennis. OK, then. This Friday, my team versus yours. And winner pays for the window. You're on. By the way, I'm keeping hold of this in case you or it causes any more damage. Couldn't have put it better myself, B. Operation Menace match of the day. Empty your pockets. Right, it's a three-a-side game, so I'm centre forward. Nash is in goal. Curly, you're in defence. <laughs> what about me? Right, uh, you're the uh, the manager, of course. Oh, <laughs> all right then, lads. It's a game of two halves, but at the end of the day, we play to win and uh, you beat Walter. <laughs> Yeah, we've got to smash Walter's defences. Oh, don't say mash. Paul's lost some of his best friends to mash. Smash, pie face, not mash. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've lost you too, pie face. <laughs> <laughs> Bertie, my house. Bring Dudley and bring sausages. Sausages? Yes, sausages. Dennis! Dennis! Show up some madness! Hooray! Hooray! Let's play some jolly good football today. Captains, over here, please. I'd just like to point out that I'm not just captain, I'm also club manager, coach, CEO and... A turnip. Who has the ball? I do, referee. Hey, that's my ball. Let's get this match underway. <laughs> What's going on, Nasha? Get back in goal. <laughs> A heinous misdemeanour has been committed. According to the official rules of grudge match football in the park, their team's disqualified. Game over. Uh, hello? Are you the referee? Do you have a whistle? Are you in charge? No. I'll say when the game is over. I'll give you one more chance. New ball, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not again. Nasha! Aww. Dennis's team disqualified. Yes! We are the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions. What's got into Nasha? Bangers. What he means is a bang goes your chance of winning. Nasha, what's got into you? <laughs> oh. uh, and here is the invoice for the repair to our window. Do pay promptly. Dad gave me that ball for Christmas. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <laughs> what? This smells like sausages. Time to call in the experts. I smell a foul. Menace Substation 3. What's up, Dennis? I need you at Menace HQ. Emergency code red. <sighs> oh, that's sneaky. That's very sneaky. Take a look at this, Dennis. 
See the tiny particles of sausage meat all over the material? Who'd want to make a sausage-flavoured football? Someone who wanted Nasha to destroy the football and lose the game. Walter! Walter! Walter. Rematch tomorrow! Why on earth would I agree to a rematch? Because if you don't, I'll tell everyone you cheated. <gasps> <laughs> we can't do that again. But how else could we be? Bob? Nasha's way too good at goal. Don't you worry about that dopey dog. I'm going to make sure they get disqualified for good this time. Ah, uh, are they? Nasha's? Nasha's? These? No, they're my granddad's false teeth. I'm going to fix them to look just like Nasher's. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> ah. Now, is it clear who's in charge of this match, Walter? <laughs> Marks, you mean? Ugh, Nash has been nowhere near the ball. <laughs> Nash, Nash, Nash. Anyone have another ball? No. 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 Then it's game over. Meaning my team are still the winners. <laughs> oh dear, Dennis, you must feel so uh, deflated. <laughs> Stop! Dad, bring B. Pie face, get your beaniest pies. Ref, just give me that. <laughs> Kit, please. Well, I'm very impressed, Dennis. You can't allow this, Ref. Well, I'm sorry, Walter, but I'll bet there's not a single word about farting babies inflating footballs in the rules. <laughs> this isn't potty training. This is the beautiful game. Or what I call the beautiful game. Okay then, game on. <laughs> Well done, son. Put it there. Nasha, mate, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Nasha, Nasha. I'm Baby B. <laughs> Looks like I won't be needing this bill for a new window after all. <laughs>
is not the pace of a postman preparing to pull. I must draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states... What's Magnet Monthly? <sighs> the only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, and Admirer, and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Well, sir, I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy dash -un, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're gonna be a postman? Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. <laughs> Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. Huh? We'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Postman? It's a prototype. All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes News. I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid. Porridge enthusiast. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. Oh, Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, well, no! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. Then sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? I need you to bring your largest net. <laughs> No 
Motown miniaturish. Oh, oh, that tickles. <laughs> <Ow. laughs> You're coming with me. Uh, Dennis, we have a problem. <gasps> I have to go rescue Pie Face. He's been taken by the dog catcher. <sighs> Why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. Ah, finished! What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs to be sorted pile. See ya! <laughs> Wait! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Another wild dog! <laughs> hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point! It's doing the job! Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman! With pants! Yes, yes. Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, Ready. a magazine called Magnet Monthly? I know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk. <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> Job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Nash! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! A new record! Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I! So, what's next for our champion then? <laughs> Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh! <laughs> well. <laughs> Keep your fleas on, Nasha. <laughs> It'll be home time before you know it. 
smash. Okay, boys, this lesson's about to get menaced. Uh, hurry up, then! It's about to blow! Uh. All your eyes, Paul. All of them. So, class, you should now have a beaker of green liquid. Green liquid? What? Green liquid? Uh. Green, not brown, Dennis. <laughs> when Mrs. Creature sees my perfect results, I'll get my fifth gold star this week. You'll have. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Not so fast. Thanks to your little experiment, the whole school has to be fumigated. You will look after Polygon until tomorrow morning. Oh, but miss... Take good care of Polygon or you'll be cleaning his cage forever. <laughs> Polly, gone. <laughs> I've just had a five-star idea. <laughs> Oh, this pirate really rates his pie. <laughs> Do you get it? Pirate? No? Got her bombs ready, Captain. Time to shiver dance timbers. <laughs> Rain? Monsoon? Dennis! <laughs> Captain's parrot, water bombs, or should I say, Walter bombs, away! What? Water bombs away! What? Pirate pet. <laughs> Don't worry, you're still my first mate, Nasha. Tea time, boys. Oh, great! I'm starving. <laughs> what? First mate, Nasha. Look after our new friend, Nash. Gone. Just hear him. How's your parrot impressions? <sighs> What's he done now? <laughs> Testing menace voice. 
voice projector. Testing menace voice projector. <laughs> nice one, Dennis. Time to squat the squat, Curly. No, no, I, no, I should do it. I'm much more of a bird brain than you. <laughs> Mrs. Creature's come to check on Polygon, Dennis. I've just covered up the cage to give his eyes a rest. He's fine. He'll tell you himself. Won't you? Oh. I said, won't you? I'm fine. Squawk! I'm fine. Squawk! Dennis is the best! See? Nothing to worry about. Yeah, I, I like Python too, Squawk. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I mean, squawk! I've taught him some impressions. <laughs> oh, well, I am impressed, Dennis. Can I take a little peek at him? <laughs> On second thoughts, I just make sure he's back in school tomorrow morning. <laughs> he's a pie. Nash, 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 nash. These aren't parrot feathers, they're pillow feathers. Maybe Polygon had a pyjama party that got out of control. Yeah, or he got out. But how? Nash, 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 nash. Oh, oh, oh. Nash, nash, nash. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, sorry, Nasha. Sorry. Nash, nash. Team Menace, we got to find that parrot right now. Where would a parrot hang out? Guaranteed to attract our feathered friends. Oh, and if he doesn't fancy it. Well done, Pie Face, it's working. Uh, I bet too well. <laughs> What's wrong, Dennis? In a flap about something? <laughs> If I don't find Polygon before tomorrow, Mrs. Creature's going to be a screecher. Dennis, I got a brilliant plan. Really? All is going to be okay. Who's a pretty potato then? I'm a dead man. Huh? Huh? Right. Let's have a look at him. Yes, Dennis. I can't wait to see what you've got under there. There he is. <gasps> Good old Paul. They're gone. That's a potato, Dennis. Yo, she's good. Where is Polygon? <laughs> He's right here, miss. Oh, wah, wah. oh, my word. You've taught Polygon to be a homing parrot. Excellent work, Dennis. What? Don't thank him. It was me that let him out. Um, uh, uh, uh that is, uh, I mean, um, uh, oh, no. Huh? Walter did it? What? Walter did it? Walter, I am taking back all your stars. <gasps> oh, no, 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 not my stars. And you, Dennis, can take care of Polygon anytime. How about tonight? <laughs> ah, hey, Nasha, I reckon Walter would love something refreshing. Nash, Nash! Polygon? So there's something so simple. Well, you do keep making me take baths. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
At least the worst's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Nash, 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 Nasha still hasn't had his B A T H. That spells bath, Nasha. Nash. Nasha could learn a thing or two from that cat. Cat hat reporting for bath night duty, sir. <laughs> Action in supplying vital equipment that deserves a medal, I think. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! <laughs> uh, Walter! <laughs> got a minute! <laughs> Hang on, Nasha! Oh no! Stop hanging on, Nasha! <laughs> So he needs to be taught proper back time behaviour. Can you help? I don't know if there's much even I can do for such a smelly, scruffy creature. <laughs> Actually, we'd be delighted to give Nasha grooming tips. Dad, you can't do this to my best mate. You just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Bath all set up. Oh, I think not. Wow. Doesn't that look relaxing? Nash, 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 Nash! Please, Dad, I beg you to think of this dig's dignity. Uh, this dog's dignity. I beg you not to reduce him to a barking stock. I beg you to spare him his soapy ordeal. I beg you to stop playing that violin while I'm begging. Sorry, just practicing. Oh, for goodness sake, it's only a bit of soap and water. Nash! 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 Slithery, slimy soap, and do I hate baths? I hate soap and shampoo in my hair. Ugh, my poor, defenceless hair. I, it's so flat. <laughs> Being this clean's not natural. Soon fix that, though. <laughs> 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 with the pitch squelchy underfoot, we kick off with a magic, muddy manoeuvre. <laughs> it's on the head and all over his 
his head. <laughs> now the dogged defender with his dynamite right foot, uh, feet. Go on, Nasha. <laughs> Need some food. Hungry, Nasha? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Fish, what is going on with you? You don't think he's ill, do you? <laughs> well, if he is, you'd never know it. He even smells nice. He's been acting weird ever since he was in Claudius's bath. <laughs> It's like he's turning into a C A T. Yeah. A what? A cat pie face. Oh. Yeah. I promise I'll never let Mum wash you with the sprouts again, Paul. Ah, young Dennis, your hairy hound has been at my flower beds. <laughs> huh? Should we take him to the vet? Can't. After Nash's last checkup, the vet emigrated to Africa to give fillings to lions. Hmm, I've got an idea. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 nash. Nash. Reflexes are okay. <laughs> Is it okay? Energy levels are definitely okay. <laughs> oh, get there. Yeah. <laughs> 